Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? We're back with another episode of Road to the Show. We've got a lot of stuff that we have to cover very quickly, okay? First thing, biggest thing, tonight's episode almost didn't happen because of Laura. Okay, hold on. Let me fix my mic a little bit here. So... Apparently, somehow, this little mouse got into our house, okay? Uh, Laura's already caught. She's flipping out. She's hysterical right now. She called the exterminator. They came over today, checked the entire house, found out that it snuck through a little crack that we have in our garage. And this little guy is, I've seen him. He's this little guy and kind of cute, but mice are bad. You don't want mice in your house, okay? Um, and so she's like, this is, this is like World War III. This is like, if you've seen Home Alone, this is Home Alone when, I mean, she's got a game plan. She's drawn it out and she is booby trapping this entire house. It wasn't good enough that the exterminator guy had to booby trap it. Laura sent me to Home Depot today. I just spent like $6,000. Uh, I didn't spend that much, but I spent a lot of money on buying all these things, and and she's pacing up and down the up. She's upstairs. She's pacing, and she just told me I couldn't come down here because um, I'm going to disrupt all of her traps and all of her things down here uh, for the mouse. Okay, but I said no. I must play, and she said, "Matt, it's only one night," and I and I I fought her on it. So she's not going to be very happy about this. Um, but we're going to play. She's not going to come down tonight and talk because she's deathly afraid of this place down here. Um, and uh, I think right now she's probably like like um, the Predator. You guys seen the movie The Predator? When uh, when they've, when <laughs> when uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's got to get in the mud and put all the mud on so the Predator can't see her. I can see her upstairs right now like putting mud all over her body so this little mouse can't uh, find her. But anyways, that's what I've got going on in my house. Um... Let's see how uh, a couple people were asking me to check out how Richie and Kyle are doing. And so let's take a look real quick. Who do they play for again? They're with the White Sox. Let's go to the White Sox real quick. And, uh, and what, what positions? Oh, here's Richie. Okay, so Richie, he's the double-A starter. He's still starting. Um, can I look at your player card, Richie? Let's see. You're a 51 overall with an arrow down. What's that mean? You're going down? Your potential is a C. That's generous. I'd give him an F minus. Uh, born in Ohio, he's a pull hitter. Interesting. No service time. Uh, can we see his stats? Where are his stats? Here's his contract. He's making sixty grand in Double A. That's no, not true. You're not making anywhere close to that, Richie. Uh, he's a thief. No, he's not. He's a pinch hitter because he's on the bench all the time. No tweets because he has no friends. Statistics. Uh, oh, those are just big league statistics. I'd like to see minor league statistics. I guess we can't see those. Okay. The only thing Richie does well is steal bases, apparently, and base running aggressiveness. Other than that, he can't drag bunt to save his life. I'm surprised. I figured he'd be one of those guys that just bunts all the time. All right, let's find uh, let's find Kyle. Kyle was what a uh, see. I thought Kyle was a catcher. Is Kyle a catcher? Kyle Saul. There he is. Kyle, twenty three, double A starter still. That a baby, Kyle. Kyle, potential D, even worse than Richie. Hard to believe. Forty eight overall. Secondary positions are one B and three B. When you're a catcher and you've got to list your secondary positions, it means you stink at catcher. Okay, he's from Vermont. Clearly, he's from Vermont. No one from Vermont's ever played baseball before. Uh, let's see. He's making fifty thousand again. Not true. He has no quirks, and uh, he has no friends either. Okay, so um, we can't see how they're doing. I guess with their stats, but neither are doing too well. All right. Oh, there's stats right there. Is that their? St- oh, that's their stats right there. Kyle, hitting 234 with two homers. Putrid. Uh, on base percentage isn't even at 300. Okay. Kyle, if you want to see some real stats from a real player, just look to the left. Even though it's 381, used to be 420. 
381, and that is with going in the biggest slump of my life. And let's see, um, Richie again. 253, respectable Richie. Three homers, no pop. And uh, not bad, not bad, Rich. I've seen worse. I've seen Kyle's stats. Okay, so that's what uh, we got going on there. Last thing I'll say, hat selection, went with the uh, Columbus Clippers hat today. Went with a little eye bat, black, Columbus Clippers. I've got a story I can tell you guys about the Clippers in a little bit, but we're going to go and we're going to play right now. So I've been, uh, I actually played yesterday for a little while. I did the um, Diamond Dynasty, like those little moments or something like that. I did pretty well. I was actually raking. I recorded it. I'm going to throw it up here for you guys, maybe tomorrow. I don't know if you guys would be interested in watching me do that. Um, but I'll throw it up, let you see it. I also have a couple questions that i got to ask you guys, so you guys can give me uh, some help with that. But I was crushing balls, okay? I know I was hitting with, like, Bellinger and Yelich and De Gregorius and uh, Ty Cobb and all those guys, but... Man, was I hitting well. Hopefully that carries into uh, my own players. I, I should make myself a lefty because a lot of guys I were using were lefties and they just raped. Wow, right to a dynamic challenge. Driving a run, only swinging pitches inside the zone, driving people. Okay, let's just drive and run. Why zone hitting? I didn't never select the zone hitting. Has my son been messing around with this again? Oh, it's not zone hitting. What is going on here? Why can't I hold R2? What? First pitch of the end. Oh my god, now I'm... That on its way. Round off, round off, round off, score, score. Score. That's a joke. And that's, the third out. that's a free out. We played an what is going on? Ready for another chance? Guys, I gotta check the difficulty when we get out of this game because... I don't know what's going on. Why he's giving me that again? Sorry, I screwed that up. That's where we got to communicate, and I got to know who's covering the bag on a on a comebacker. It's got to be a double play there. Oh God, here we go again. Yeah, I got it. Call time, Matt. Antonelli. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Ah, late. Okay. Let's get back into it here. Got to get aggressive on the fastball. That was serving me well last episode. On the fastball. Nope, that ball's in the dirt, Matt. If it's low, let it go. I swear I was raking last night. I don't know what. Am I nervous? Because I'm on camera? Count remains at 0 2. I gotta be nervous. I gotta just hit better when no one's when no one's watching. Get down, please. Thank you. Good job, Matt. This hat's really tight on my head right here. Now they're teaching me how to lead. I gotta see if he put it back on uh, whatever the first. Difficulty is back. And the runner back safely. Yeah, I know how to steal. I've attempted 400 of them. My success rate's about 20. Perhaps wisely, another look to first, and he'll dive back in. If you pick again, I'm charging the mound. He's running. That was a tough one. I was going first move right there. The second he lifted his leg, I went and uh, he picked me. Okay. Now I'm stealing at 24%. Bunt! I got it. I got it. Matt. Oh, I can't find his way to first. All right, two outs. Get some depth up the middle a little bit. Matt! Matt! Why is everything moving in slow motion? Something is up with the game. 
Digging in, Larry Isaac. He got on top of one and was Second a ground down uh, last Larry. time. Freaking mouse was playing my PlayStation. That's what it was. That's what Lara would say. Let's go, Matt. Standing in. Same guy again. This guy's got nothing. First pitch of the end bat on its way. Look out, hot shot to third in there. Can't hit it any harder, Matt. 170 exit speed. Digging in to try it again. This guy again. Get on the fastball. Matt Antonelli. Set and the pitch. It's a different guy. He's a side armor. Okay. Sinker change up slider four seam. Gotta see the ball up on this guy, Matt. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. No, that's down. Oh, boy, Matt. All right. That's fine. We got to go back to the clubhouse anyway. Let's go back to the clubhouse. Let's, we're doing shout-outs today, too, guys. Let's figure out what is going on with this difficulty. I hope, he didn't put, I hope it's not on beginner or whatever the first difficulty is because that was a poor showing. Round Rock. Okay, let's see what happened to the difficulty. It's on Veteran. Okay, what do I want to be on here? Um, we used to be Dynamic. All-Star. Let's go Veteran. I need to get my hitting going. Okay. All right. Oh, we're at home. We're not even at Round Rock. Okay. I'll tell you what. I played at Round Rock once. It was so flipping hot at Round Rock. All right. Batting practice. Power. Oh, only plus one. Power. I can get a plus four. Yeah, let's get plus four in power. At least three home runs over the next three games in my Babe Ruth? No. I'm not doing that. All right, let's see who's on Round Rock. Anyone that I know. Nobody that I know. Am I this old that nobody I know? Well, I guess nobody I know is going to be in the minor leagues. These guys are all young, and I'm old. Okay. Okay. So Columbus Clippers, I'll tell you a quick story. I was there not very long. It was my last team I ever played with. I was on the Phantom DL for a lot of it, if you guys follow my, my channel. And uh, so on the Phantom DL, which basically means, like, I'm not hurt, but I'm pretending to be hurt because they don't want to release me, but they don't want to play me on the, and put me on the roster. It's complicated. We're at, before our first game, we're in the clubhouse, and... Uh, not right before our first game. It was like the day before. We're doing like a little workout. And we go around. We're all sitting around the sofa. And our manager's going over the signs. And he's like going to every single guy. And being like, okay, what's the sign here, Timmy? I don't think I've told this story on the road to the show episode. If I have, I apologize. And he's like, all right, Johnny, what's the sign here? Steel. Okay. And Bobby, what's the sign here? And so I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. It's coming around. It's coming around. And it goes to like Billy right next to me. And he's like, all right, Billy, what's the sign right here? Billy's like, it's a hit and run. Yeah, good job, Billy. And then, like, I'm ready. And I'm like, all right, coach. Like, I'm locked in. I know the signs. He's like, all right, Jimmy. And he skips over me. And he's like, what's the sign here? And he's like, uh, hit and run again. And yeah, good. And then Tommy. And then they keep going. And I'm like, looking. And I'm like, coach, ask me the signs. I, I know the signs. Can, am, I, am I here? He went around the whole thing. Skipped me. Only guy he skipped. I was invisible. I was on the phantom DL. I was on the invisible DL. And, uh... And he got everybody. And that's when I kind of knew 
I kind of knew my days were numbered as a uh, Cleveland Indian slash Columbus Clipper player. Coach couldn't even see me. How's he going to put me in the lineup if I'm invisible? All right. Advanced runner with ball hit over the infield. I can do that. Advanced runner with a grounder three infield. Power swing the drive and a run. Yep. Oh, man, my back hurts. Four seam curveball change up slider. Now a move over to first. And he has to dive, but he's back in easily. Oh, beautiful. We're back at home. It doesn't rain in Albuquerque, does it? And it's 450 to center. If I fly out the center again, Kyle Saul is going to be hearing from me. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line drive to center field. Strong is going to have room out there as he puts this away to <sighs> Albuquerque, side. where hits and careers go to die. You know, somebody, uh, Simon Johnson, and it's been a real struggle for him with the bats. So somebody today messaged me with an isotopes email asking that the saying that they saw that I played on the isotopes and wanted to know if I, uh, that a baby that looks like me hitting 158 and pops up to the infield. Did this a lot in 2008. Um, they asked me if I wanted a hat or a isotope shirt, and I said, sure thing. So, if you're watching this, do you work with the isotopes? I would assume if you have an isotope. I mean, unless you're just a humongous isotopes fan. But thank you so much. I'll be rocking that thing once I get it. I'll be in the big leagues by the time I get it, probably. But not all that hard out to second. Tag him, Matt. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. I ran through the guy. How is it not an out? I don't have the ball yet. Man, my average is down to 376. Second baseman, Matt. And First delivery to him on the way. Line towards center field. Strong. Okay. If you work for road for the road to the show, Kyle. This is ridiculous. Nobody in baseball hits the ball this hard and gets out every time. Like once in a while, okay, you line out. But this is like every at bat. Every at bat's a line drive to the center fielder. Ooh, beat it out. Good turn, Matt. If I line out for a third time here, this controller's done. That should have been a homer. Weak rounder back to the mound. Throws in time, and that's out number one. That was not a liner to center. I actually thought I was kind of on that ball. I don't know how I just hit a number. I mean, that's a grown man that just hit that 17 feet. Ooh, almost threw it away. Matt, please get it going. Another dynamic challenge. Grand slam. I've never gotten a grand slam opportunity like that before, so I got to go with it. Of course, of course, he's got a cutter and a splitter. My two least favorite pitches of all time. Just for that, I am going deep. Power swing. See you later. Here's the first offering. Grounder down the line at third. But this is foul for the first strike. Well, you don't need us to tell you it's really starting to come down out there. I can't imagine the umpires will let this go too much longer if it doesn't ease up. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fly out. I'm surprised if we don't see the umpires. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So coming to the plate, Kelly. I can't hit an Albuquerque. I can't do it. He's stealing. One. Thank you. Nice hustle into the bag, Forty. Look at him, Matt. Look him in the face. Look him. As J.B. Tucker used to say, say it to my face. Say it to his face, Matt. Don't look down at the ground when you're talking trash. Play the next game. Contact regress, my batting in the clutch regress. What am I, one for my last eight now? Well, worse than that if we go back to last episode. Chad Bettis is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? 
Hey, you could tell that, by this oh, two outs. Another horrible day in Albuquerque. Oh, Does it rain this much in Albuquerque? Matt. It's a nice play, but it took forever to get to that thing. All right, these guys get everything. Come on, Matt. Back. Trying. Good pitch. Solid beard. Is this Wade Miley? Which Miley is this? It is Wade Miley. Better today, kind of turn the tide and get it working in a positive direction. Wade, I'm about to take you deep. One and one, here it comes. Outside, two and one. Miley features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Come on, Wade. I bet he's salivating a little in the box right now. He likes to drive in runs, and he's got a great situation and count to do that right here. And he misses there. Wade's afraid of me. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. All right, I got to run with a... Oh. He went hitless the last night in a game where his guys Number could push eight. across only one score. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes this the nope, right there, Matt. There. Matt. And now they get the run in from third. Throw to second will be in time, but the run's going to come in and score. What the hell just happened? That happened. Matt. You just stole a hit from that guy. Matt's Matt's thing is, if I'm not getting hits, nobody's getting hits. What did you do, Matt? What did you do? Wow. I mean, that's the biggest D-bag thing I've ever seen, Matt. Who, Who's hitting over here? Who just hit that? Fuentes. Fuentes. You should have just rounded first and just literally waterboyed me. Hopefully people have seen the movie Waterboy. And Matt's actually going to walk towards it. Look at it. Matt's actually looking at him. Yeah, that's right, Fuentes. If I don't get hits, nobody gets hits. That's unbelievable. I should be suspended a game for that. this one up. Velasquez waits on it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Matt Antonelli. He'll look Way to, to light a spark we'll under this lineup that hasn't the found baseman. the scoreboard since Matt. back in the first inning. Antonelli. Yeah, and for me, the story has been the start Jesus. of the and very difficult to everyone has to take cover. I just swung when that ball was behind me. In the first inning of a start. So I'll give a lot of that too. Been able to do. Another one fouled off and he's Matt, can we get aggressive, please? Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Into I swear I played yesterday and I was and crushing everything. Really How is this possible? We're back into this thing where I cannot get a hit. If I hit it hard, I get out. If I hit it soft, I get out. If I swing a miss, I get out. Stepping into the box, number 11. We need to do some shout outs after this. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score. He runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy. That way, Matt. He can still catch. That's good. At the plate, Matt Antonelli. Leading off. He's over two of the walk thus far. The second baseman. Matt. Why am I going double or better? I have no idea. First offering on its way. And that misses ball one. Coming down I'm back to all over the fastball. Cats and dogs. Let's try to pull a ball. Pull a ball finally. Cast is not showing any signs of relief. You know what are the big issues? Is player safety, and right now this field is getting. Hurry up, Matt! Safe. Please give me a hit. That was a rocket. It was a rocket shot. Boy, 
That's what wheels can do for you, Dero. Thank you. you. Right here on this replay. It's the first nice thing this game's done for me in about a week and a half. I mean, every ball I'm hitting hard is going right to somebody. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, newsflash, you got no wheels. Hasn't made me any more passive on the bases, though. I will take second. And, plus this and I will take third. A Get a lead, Matt. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. This guy goes big leg kick. We got to steal. The Not the best the jump. Throw. Outside, Matt. Good job. People keep telling me to steal home. Like, that, that seems like it would be impossible in this game. Nobody goes from the full windup. How would I steal home? Alright, we're up 6 nothing, huh? I haven't even been looking at the score the last few games. I'm totally over trying to get to the playoffs. We're not any good. We're not making the playoffs. Season's almost over, though, I think, right? We're coming down the home stretch here. Am I going to be a September call up? Get on the fastball. Get down, please! Thank you. I got jammed on that. Two for four. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. What movie is that? You guys got it. I don't care what kind of leg kick you have. I'm feeling good about myself right now. Step back! Shoot! Run him over! Hit <laughs> forearm shiver, Matt. Matt, go sit down. You stink. Take a shower, please. Oh, boy. Oh, Matt. Terrible angle. Throw behind him. Nice throw. Hit the cut. Oh, boy. I just gave that guy a hit. Back up. Nobody likes me. Pitchers can't like me right now on my own team. Fuentes hates me. Matt. Good job. Let the game. We won. Terrific. Good job, Chad. Okay, let's do a couple shout-outs real quick, shall we? This shout-out section is going to be all for Lara, mostly. Everyone was all excited about Lara last episode. I got so many comments about Lara. First, let's start with uh, John Roberts. That's an ugly slide. We need more Lara commentary. Yeah, Lara was really mean to me, John, huh? I mean, most of this stuff is just, it's, it was, I, I didn't realize that she was saying all those mean things until I went back and, and watched the, uh, the entire episode. Uh, Michael Riley, the Antonelli family is having a dinner party with one of Matt's former teammates. Former teammate's kid. Unfortunately, my dad didn't make the all-star team this year. What does your dad do? Matt's kid. He sits in the basement with his jockstrap and eye black on and screams at the TV. You know, more and more people are watching this, this, these videos, and uh, there a lot of them are adults. And uh, well, when they talk to me about it, I'm like, they're watching me sitting in my dock strap with my eye black on, and I'm a 34 old, 34 year old adult. But uh, you know what? I don't care. Uh, Michael Namath, Matt strikes out and almost loses his mind. Laura, take it easy, psycho. Yeah, Lars stole that. That's my favorite. I always say that. Take it easy, psycho. But uh, she, she took it from me and she used it. Uh, Tyler Rice. Matt. This guy is horrendous. Also, Matt. Strikes out on three pitches. Uh, that happens pretty much every episode. Multiple times an episode. I don't know what the hell's going on with me. Uh, let's see. Chris. Chris R. Kobos? I played high school baseball with the real Kyle Saul. Still bizarre to hear his name being mentioned on these videos. Chris, are you talking about the actual Kyle Saul? Like the Kyle Saul that I played with on here? Like the Kyle Saul that produced the game? Was a producer on the game? If that is true, do you still talk to him? Can you let him know about my character? Can you ask him why he wanted to build a 450-foot center field wall at Albuquerque? Why he's torturing me? 
and um, and also tell him I want to come to San Diego and uh, and and help out with the game. Andrew Berger, having to concentrate with Laura chirping from the peanut gallery is a whole new level of difficulty. It is. I'm gonna say like I do kind of tune her out. Um, I mean a lot, but also when she comes down here and tries to talk to me while I'm playing. But it is difficult. It is. It's hard to talk and play at the same time. I'm not making any excuses, but it is. You know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't checked to see if it's uh, recording. Let me check and see. Wow, I've already been playing for 30 minutes. Oh. I don't want to go upstairs because Laura's going to yell at me. She told me not to come down here and I went I, I went against her wishes. And uh, she's not going to be happy. Oh, you know what else, guys? I had a dream last night. The weirdest dream. I told Laura and she said I'm playing too much Road to the Show. That's why I'm having these dreams. I had a dream that I was back in AAA again. But I wasn't playing for, for any of the teams I played for. I was for the random team, but I had Randy Reddy as my manager, who was my manager when I was in AAA Portland. And Wade LeBlanc was on my team. And uh, and Wade was acting like he didn't know who I was. Laura said he's big league in me. But um, it was a really weird dream. First pitch coming. Here it is. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. On the fastball, Matt. It's raining again. Intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpire. Oh god, Laura's walking around up there. She's walking heavy. I know she's mad right now that I'm down here with the mouse. Matt, it's time to hit a homer. We don't hit homers anymore here. Two well count, the pitch. Outside. Three and oh now. Three oh I'm coming unglued if you throw this ball. Fastball over the heart of the plate. Finally, we're hitting homers, Matt. That ball's absolutely shat on. How far to go? 420. I'm calling 420. The block. 454. Matt's been lifting. Laura, what? Yes. Well, if okay. They give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup. It's better to wow. with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in the game. Striding in. All right. I don't know if you guys could, uh, could hear Laura right there. She just said, "Are you seriously kidding me?" I said, "She said you still went down there." I said, "Yes," and she said, "Good. Don't come back up." So I guess I'm just gonna have to play like. Six seasons tonight on here. Let's go, Matt. Let's go square button and go deep again. Yes! Push it, Matt. Push it. Go! Go! Get out! Nice aggressive base running, Matt. Good job. Right out of the box. Smashed it down the line and not the quickest reaction the down there. They call it the hut corner for a reason. And Matt is just hard out of the box. Great job. The batter. Number eight. Man, I'm just showing off an entire tool set here. We've got power. We've got hitting. We've got I don't know what else. We get speed. Watch out, Fuentes. I'm going to try to steal a hit from you again. Okay. Two outs. How is it possible? This is the biggest storm in the history of the world. It's been raining seriously straight for three days. Backhand it. What the hell was that? That is against every fundamental thing we've ever worked on, Matt. Oh, this guy again? I gotta go square button again. Why not? Drilled to the left side. And another base hit for him as he's gone three for three in this Forget game. the X button. Square's where it's at. 
Damn, with that single, he's now three quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. I'm three quarters of the way away from hitting for the cycle. What do I need? I need a triple. Back, Matt. Well, you best believe no matter where I hit it next time, I will not stop running until I hit third base. I don't care where I hit it. Dude, just hurry up and let me get up again because I want to hit for the cycle. Once more, a throw over, and he'll get back in safely. This guy knows I have no patience, and I'm gonna either get picked off or run myself into it out in a minute. In now, number eight, and they oh, they pitched the out! Air, wow. Let's go. Get me up for the cycle right now. Ladies and gentlemen. In now, Matt Antonelli. He's batting clean up. Oh, we got a new guy here. We'll get a starting off. Here in we'll the inning as they look to wake up the second the bats. baseman. Yeah, not much Matt. to get excited about Antonelli. with just a single notch on the score, <sighs> but you have to give credit to where it's deserved. The pitch on the other side has been really impressive. Now the 0-1. Well below the knees laid Let's off go. on the up there. Put it in the right center field gap, Matt. The one one home. No. Little guessing game going on. Okay, right power now. swing. Well, that's all we're doing, so being on time is a lot to ask for, but come on, Matt. One and two, here it comes. No, nope, can't get the third on that. Go to second. Go to third. And that's the first down. All right, we lost, but nobody cares because I went three for four and I'm back. I'm back and I can't play. I got to return to the clubhouse. Oh, my back hurts. All right, we need a gaming chair, guys. Like this little thing I'm sitting on. I don't sit on my son's chair anymore, but I sit on this like ottoman thing. It's not good for my back. I'm always like this. Look at everything progressed. Whoa, Las at Las Vegas. Oh, boy. Let's go ahead and play at Las Vegas, guys. So Las Vegas, we can go three more in this. Let's do that. Cap challenge. The team office. He wants you to hit at least three home runs over the next three games. Again, I'm not Mike Trout. I am not doing that. Okay, let's see who's playing on Vegas. Where's Vegas? I thought that was Al Allen Iverson hitting four hole. Uh, I don't know any of these guys either. Play the game. So usually Vegas's record at home is usually very good because when road teams come into Vegas, nobody goes to sleep, and it's tough to win when you don't sleep. Um. I've played at Vegas a bunch of times. If Laura was down here, she could tell some stories. She's been down. She's come out a couple of times while I've been out there. One thing about Vegas, it is so hot. So hot. It's one of the hottest places to play. The field is huge. The ball flies really well, though. I never hit well there. I say that about most stadiums. Coming to the plate now, Matt. Antonelli, and he could give his guys an early lead Matt. if he can come through here. Antonelli. From the stretch. Line That's what I needed last game, Matt. That's what I needed last game. I would have had my cycle. You know what? I'm going three anyway. I'm going to get a cycle, even though it's not a real cycle. I'm not up. I'm down. Oh my God, please. Get it right. That's what I needed. Last game, man. man the pitcher was this close to getting out of the inning. A day late, a dollar short. But the guy standing on third had other Number ideas. Eight. Driving in the first run of the game. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Way behind that pitch. All right. Again, there's nothing to do at third. Dominique. Turn it out and play. This guy looks like he's pretty fast. Montano. Pivot. Drop step. Well, I was wrong. He's not very fast. Good turn. Coming to the plate now, Matt Antonelli. Second base. Here comes the first pitch. Antonelli. 
Ooh, filthy sinker. 94 with sink. Got to see the ball up on this guy. That's some dirty stuff. Oh, slider. 91. Matt, this is uh, like facing Ubaldo Jimenez back in 2008. You might want to just take a seat. Damn, then he comes in hard with a four-seam fastball at 98. Vizcaino. What Vizcaino is this? Willie? Is this guy real? He has to be real. He's a 98 fastball and a 93 sinker, a 91 slider, a 94 two-seam. Why, again, why are you in AAA? No, we didn't. Thank you. I mean, that ball literally was almost thrown in the dugout, and I almost swung at it. See the ball, Matt. Ball's hit hard right there, Matt. I'll give you that. It's pretty good. This guy's no joke. Matt's exhausted running down the line. Get a fastball. You need a four seam against this guy. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Here's the first pitch to him. Well off the inside. Give me the four seam, Vizcaino. I'm going to take it deep if you give me a four seam. Wind's blowing in a little bit. But it really hasn't been effective so far. Ah, there was the four seam. It's a little bit more down than I thought. Johnson. First, nobody out. Ooh, forcing him up. Fastball got away from him there. It's oh, now what do you throw me? You could go with that filthy slider, but I think I got to stay on the fastball. On the ground, Darn it. it, it. He's got it. There's one. Safe. On the first, but no, not in time as he really took a tumble at second base, letting go of that ball. Man, oh, man. Watch out, Josh. I'm not in a bad mood, though. I'm not stealing hits anymore. Now I'll, I'll, I feel good. I'll give you a hit. I'm out by a mile. Out by like 40 feet. Wow, Matt. You have some speed. That was a horrible jump. He's having a hard time doing that, so as a base runner, that's a good time to try to steal some bases. He's probably not as focused on controlling... Number 93 in the infield? You can't wear number 93 in the infield. Nobody in Vegas at this field. It's too hot for people in Vegas. Whoever wants to be out gambling. No one wants to watch baseball. I'm not lying, guys. I was stealing there, and I decided to... I wanted to stop and get back. I was pressing down to go back. He never went down. I was about to scream at him, and luckily the ball was in the dirt. Okay, thank God that other guy is out of here. This guy is much more manageable. Pitch coming. Here it is. In the dirt. Matt was trying one of those uh, let's swing and hopefully the bat gets in the catcher's eyes and, and he can't block the ball and we get a free base. Now he's swinging at fastballs off the plate. Matt, get it together. This guy throws 95 too. Oh and two, here it comes. Nope, that's too low with a fastball there. One ball, two strikes. Decided to go with a fastball there on 0 and 2, but what he's trying to do with that pitch is to expand the strike zone. Maybe you get a Matt, it almost hit you. Almost hit you. Matt just swung and tried to get out of the way at the same time. Yeah, and they know this is going to be a tough stretch on the road. To win the first game of a series has got to feel I wanted to watch a replay of that. Highlight rail. It's no highlight rail. What's the replay vault? I don't care. Well, it's a horrible way to finish the day. Let's see what we have left for our season here, shall we? Before we say goodnight.
In the minor leagues, a lost season is never... If you have an ounce of quit in you, you'll never make a skip. Andres, it's over, man. Just let it go. We're in last place. We stink. It doesn't matter, okay? Uh, I don't care if we're 50 games behind. We're almost 50 games behind. Every game is a chance to compete. I expect some fight from you from here on in. Hair on in or hair on out? I don't know. Two times the performance. Okay. Calendar. So where are we here? What month is this? August. Wow, we're almost done, guys. Wow, the season's almost over, everybody. Literally, September 1st, I'll be out of here. I'll be up to the big league, September 1st. Oh, we're not horrible. We're 59-63. That's not too bad. Um, I don't have much left. One, two. What's that? Seven is nine. Another seven is, uh, what's that? 16. And then 17. 18 more games. That's it? Wow. Do you guys think I'm going to be a September call-up? What do you think? What's your predictions? Put your predictions in the comments section. Let's see player comparison again. MLB starter. How's he doing? He's hitting a whopping 219 now. Still. My overall is an 85 with my with my new gear and equipment, so I should definitely be in the big leagues as long as I'm allowed to take, take my gear with me. Adjusted overall. I don't know what that means, but it's a 76. I'm better than this guy. I'm fielding better. More stolen bases. More walks. More RBI. More home run. More hits. Better slugging. Double the slugging. Better on base. Better average. More at-bats and less games. What are we waiting for, guys? Do you know what an infield would look like with Arenado and Story and me? Who's at first? Can we bring Todd Helton back? I like Todd Helton. He's a rising superstar? Garrett, there's nothing against you. But if there's ever such a thing as a rising superstar, superstar, not superstar, superstar, it's over here. It's number nine. All right, well, I'll be taking his job in 18 days. Is that what we said? Right around there. So, again, I hope he enjoys a couple of weeks of big league pay. I guess he'll still get paid. He's not going to get cut, but he will be on the bench. 